Whew, it is hot today. We are uh, obviously back from our trip and um, <laughs> the house, everything continues. See all that? That's what's left over from a new living room. <laughs> and I'm also working out in the front lawn with my beautiful wife who I'm sure we'll sneak up on here in a minute. I wanted to take a second and talk about the awesome security upgrades that I feel more comfortable with having now on Dot. First things first, well, I know we left you guys in suspense with the whole generator thing. You know what it ended up being? It was the oil filter. The oil filter underneath the generator had bounced and shook just from vibration, I think, so much so that it actually unwound and oil leaked everywhere because it was constantly pumping as I was trying to start it, right? It was just priming and pumping and oil was gushing everywhere and all over the place. So after having get that, we replaced the oil filter, replaced the oil, replaced the new air filter. There's a lot of really cool kits that you can get for those online. And fortunately, it's good to go. Here we are at the underside. And the filter, this guy, was right up in here and was really, really loose. I think just with us boondocking and the bumps and some of the trails that we took it on, even though it wasn't anything extreme, I think it just worked it loose and unscrewed itself and all the oil leaked out. And fortunately, this generator does have a safety system so that if it is low on oil, it will not start. And that was what was going on. New filter and a new air filter, because we might as well. I haven't got to use one of these things in a while. <laughs> I miss working on cars. I usually worked on the Jeeps that we've had in the past. This is the final moment of truth here. We should hear the microwave beep. There it is. Yeah, all right. Whew. Simple fixes are I'm so grateful for simple fixes. So yay, we have power again. All right, let's come over this way. The tires are still dirty with that Sedona dust, but there we go, right there, you guys. Check it out. I love having the tire minders on this. I remember when we bought the truck that I was surprised that there was not a PMS system built into it like most modern day vehicles have. Also, when we sold Wendy, the previous tire pressure monitoring system that we had kind of went with her as part of a bargaining chip uh you know for trade-in value and that kind of stuff so i was sad to see that go and knew i was going to need another one and fortunately did reach out to our friends over at innovation tire who hooked us up with another one of the exact same model because i loved it so much and i also have an upgrade for the dually for some pass-through valves. So a little bit different. I'm gonna get these installed here. Again, I have done an install video on this previously, the same product, which I highly, highly recommend from Innovation Tire. It's a tire minder product. It's not too complicated. The directions on it are really simple. Um, and it's just, I don't know, the convenience of it and the peace of mind. It's so funny, you know, in the beginning, it was one of those things that we considered like an RV gimmick. Like, do you really need to have a TPMS for your tires and that kind of stuff? Because as long as you're checking your pressures, yada, yada, yada. But now having, you know, driven around with it for so long on Windy and then having it or not having it initially for Dorothy and being just a bigger trailer and all the other fun things that kind of come with, it's, uh, I have great peace of mind installing this thing now. Makes me feel really good. And it comes with this little tool where you can lock the things on there too so they can't come on and off. I was talking to Michael, who is the owner of Innovation Tire, about the pass-throughs and because they're kind of a, they're not new, they've been around for a while, but whether or not that they're good, you know, for vehicles like trailers and car tires and stuff like that. And he made some really, really strong points that I didn't think about in terms of, the size of them and when i install them on the truck we'll see the difference but they uh, they stick out a lot farther and so for wheels like this or you can see the tire minder sensor is big enough that it, it pokes out a little bit but it doesn't come out past the sidewall of the tire whereas the pass-throughs will um, and he says so the the ideal you know um, person for the pass-through valves is going to be one that has a, like a dually or a coach where the valve stem is metal and sits way back in the wheel to protect it. Because knowing us, we would totally knock it off 
going down some boondocking spot or something like that, you know, because it'd be sticking out. We'd catch it on some bushes. We have both because I am going to install them on the dually. So Ruby's going to have them on her back tires, but all the other ones are going to be the standard i10 monitors and will you be able to see all 12 of them on one monitor I yeah i'll have, be able to see the trucks and then i'll push a little button and then i can see the tire or the trailers and of course you know if any if there's warnings or low pressures or high pressures anything like that it will pop up the appropriate screen you, you can actually monitor up to four different vehicles on these things or like 22 different tires so this is me getting it ready for the for ruby now I got it all on the trailer and installed on the trailer. Are you frying like a lobster on the concrete? No, it's actually not that hot. I thought, really? it, was, I thought it was gonna be. You, you might have to be the one to do this. Yeah, because. Let's see. It's, my hand is really tight. Yeah, see if you can oh see if goodness. you can get in there and unscrew that valve. Okay, we successfully got it on the inside. And I gotta get this one. I was really nervous about the inner wheel for the TPMS TPMS system. Someone had mentioned that. Um, it can be a big pain in the butt to put on, but as long as you have a smaller hand. That is the pass-through model, which makes airing up these diesel tires like so much easier. Our promo code that we have with them still works, um, but we changed it up a little bit. So this time around, if you go to Innovation Tire, you can check out uh, the promo code is going to be hello dot. So H E L L O D O T. And uh, yeah, they'll hook you up. So check it out. All right, so I talked about security in one sense of the word because now I have, you know, I have personal security while driving, knowing that if something happens to one of the tires, you know, I can't see it. I'll know if it gets overheated or hopefully catch it before it blows because you guys know that can be a really serious thing. But one of the other major actual security features are these babies can't see them, are these babies right here. The latchet locks. This is the version 2.1, I believe, and I just love these things so much. I cannot speak highly enough about them. They are rugged, they are durable, and they come in fantastic packaging, and the customer service at Latchet is bar none. If you have any kind of issues or questions or concerns, call them up they work wonders and are just generally nice people from every type of interaction i've had with them we have the programmable locks that have the keypads on them of course they also have you know the keys pair of keys that come with them and then just the keypad of course if you've been keeping up with us on tiktok you know that kristen's favorite feature about it is the boop boop locks all right what we have here on the table is two of the uh, rv full metal locks this is the version 2.1 in black these are key the like which you can order from them directly from their website and also here we have the storage compartment locks that latchet has uh, sent us which are going to replace the ones that came installed on dorothy because when we purchased dorothy we did not have the keys for those locks There we go. All right, there's our set of keys for the door locks. It locks both the top and the bottom, and they are key to like to work with this system too. This one's gonna go on the front, just about ready to install it now. This one's gonna go on the back into the garage area of Dorothy. Pretty neat. There's different sizes depending on the width of your door. Uh, so we are the one and one eighth, and each one of them in here, now you can get different packages. We have one of 10, uh, or packages of 10 here, because I have that many locks. So they come pre-packaged like this and uh, different little bags in here. Each set has its own keys. I was really worried that they, I had different keys for each lock, but they are all keyed alike. So now I just, I, you know, I have more keys than I know what to do with, but it's kind of handy. Perfect. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up the install of the two uh, door locks. It's time for the compartment lock install. I am really excited about this. Let's get to it. These are our new upgraded compartment locks from Latchet as well. Um, I will say, I love these things and the security that I feel from them is great too because clearly that is not your typical 
locked. I know that when we talked about the fact that when we first bought Dot, we didn't have the keys for these compartments and how they would like flap open and stuff like that. And so many people were like, yeah, just go to the hardware store and pick up that standard set, pick up that standard set. And I, I'm sure they're all keyed a little bit differently, but they also feel really flimsy. Um, I did look at them a little bit, and I, when I found out that Latchet had these, I was all about it. They do come in different sizes. Oh, that was the RV gate closing. They do come in different sizes, um, and they're just a little tiny bit small for these doors. I wish they were just a little bit longer, so I did have to get a little creative uh, with how I got them on there, but they're on there now. You can see we're still able to keep the handle for this one, but for these guys down here and the main battery door compartment, I had to lose the handle just because they were a little bit short for the door width. Um, other than that, they work fantastic. And we still have our old promo code with Latchet that we had from the very first time, and it is a great code, you guys. It's 15% off. And when you're talking like it makes a decent dent in whatever you might be ordering from them because they have a whole, they're not just locks anymore. They have a whole lots of different things from RV rugs to like the little things going between the tires. Uh, they even have a macerator. <laughs> so they got all sorts of good stuff. Check them out and use the code NOP2021. I know it's 2022, you guys, but the code still works and it's great in terms of percentage off. And then finally, the last security related thing that I have on here is uh, we reinstalled our old Halo View RD10 backup camera on this. Um, I really liked that setup from Halo View. You can check out a video I made about it up here. I'm very happy with it. It works well. There are some little things that I would like to say. Uh, sometimes it overheats and the camera will get a little squirrely. So it's not one that you run all the time. There is a little button on the bottom to turn the display on and off. And so while I have that running, I'll often turn it off if I'm just driving down the highway and I don't need to monitor behind me per se. Works well, but I'm excited because we are still partnering with Halo View and do have a really neat product coming out very soon. It is available to the public, but it's not in stock right now because when they first announced it, it flew off the shelves. So as soon as they get it back in stock for manufacturing, Manufacturing, we're gonna get one and it will be quite the system. So stay tuned, that upgrade is definitely coming and I'm very excited about it. All right, everybody, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate all the views, all the comments and all the likes. That really does help the videos. If you are new here, leave us a comment below and let us know because we love meeting new people. Check out all of the previous links and all the descriptions to get those discount codes on these things and look forward guys because we got more upgrades coming. This is just the first and the beginning of an upgrade installment. We look forward to that and uh, we'll see you out there. She'd kill me if she knew I was filming her. Look at that frowny face. She hasn't noticed yet. She just noticed. <laughs> Love you. You're a sweaty mess. I am a sweaty mess. <laughs> <laughs>